You are a low value man. Embrace the fact that you are a pussy and you need to improve. You really think you're going to get success and woman without putting in any effort? You are sorely mistaken and it's time to change. This video will explain to you the changes you will have to make, but don't expect it to be easy. This is entirely all up to you. Life feels so different than the past year. I finally get respect from men, attract from women, and finally feel like I'm good enough. And just like one year ago, I was this fat, lonely, depressed video game nerd who was constantly getting roasted by like everyone. And I think the reason I changed was a plan I put myself on a year ago. And I'll put you on the exact same plan. And if you are willing to sacrifice and to put in the work, I 100% believe you will get significantly better in every aspect in your life and become a high value man. A stereotypical high value man is a man who is successful, in shape, confident, good with women and has a beautiful house and I think you can achieve that in like a few years. But that sounds too good to be true, right? Yes, because there is a catch. You need to sacrifice that dopamine you get from those hours of video games, drinking and partying and you got to be willing to sacrifice a lot of things and most people don't want to and that's fine but you clicked on this video for a reason right? So I believe you can sacrifice those dopamine things. So here's a step by step plan to become a high value man and create the type of life you see envy on Instagram or TikTok. Step 1. Build the base. You probably thought I would talk about getting girls or making money, but you need to have a solid base before getting those. And a solid base is a solid mind. Most modern day men's minds are so like screwed, so self-destructing that they can't hope to reach any level of success. You can't hope that your business will take off. You can't hope that to build a good physique. And you know why? Because your mind is weak. So how do you know if it is weak? Simple. If you never try to improve your mind, it is weak. It's like the beginner at the gym knowing he is weak. If you never trained before, you can't be strong, you know? Most men have never trained their minds before, not knowing that like your mind is the greatest asset you can ever have. You can have like a mansion and a Bugatti, but your mind will always be your greatest asset. So you want to know what step one is of becoming a high value man? Improving your mental health. I have a full mental health guide on this channel that I highly recommend you to watch, even though it's not a stimulating topic. If you don't go through a period of improving your mental health first and becoming mentally strong, you cannot hope to achieve anything in life. If you don't improve your mind first, you will get nowhere and you deserve to get nowhere. I can't preach this enough. You need to improve your mind. If you try to build a business, go to the gym, eat healthy, but you just like keep struggling to stay consistent, it is because of your mind is weak. Go watch that full mental health guide, it is completely for free. The second step is fitness. It's time to bring up your physical body. The reason why this is number two and like before girls and money and stuff, because you can do this for free. You can do calisthenics at, at your house, right? And a local gym costs around 30 to $50 a month. And that is one of the greatest investments you'll ever make in your entire life. If you have nothing going for you, but you can just get consistent and do some sort of resistance training that builds muscle, your life will change significantly. You can be a guy like going to a career, you can be a guy trying to build a business, or a guy trying to get a degree, and every man and every personality, any career or field, building more muscle and being at a low body fat percentage will do wonders for your life your confidence the respect you like you get from men the attraction you get from women building an attractive body that has a good amount of muscle mass but then it's also lean where you have like this v taper sort of look is scientifically proven to be one of the most important things to looking good and attracting women your body and fitness will be your second greatest asset second only to your mind if you were on self-improvement for a little while, you probably started doing some mental health habits like meditating, journaling, and going to the gym. So you've already seen such a great improvement in your life. And my biggest win since starting self-improvement is fitness. Having an aesthetic physique is so important for a young man because if you have like some weak, flabby, skinny fat physique, nobody will respect you. No matter what the weak, modern society of this world will say, when I was fat, I felt horrible. When I listen to the conventional advice that you should love yourself at every size, but if you are a masculine man, fuck that. If you are a masculine man, you are not supposed to love yourself if you have been lazy. You are actually supposed to feel really negative about it. 
This weak modern world wants you to love yourself at every size, but they don't understand that you simply can't. Those times when you look just at the mirror and you're disappointed by what you look like because you know you haven't been disciplined enough. You can't just delude yourself into the positive thinking, yeah, I'm actually really sexy and you gotta love yourself. No, if you're a masculine man, understand this. You will only love yourself if you know you have been putting in that work. The amount of self-love is entirely equal to the amount of effort you put in. Never slack with your physique because that is always visible to everybody. Maybe you can't see your bad grades or like your bad business, but every time you go to the bathroom, you are hit with the result of the effort you put in the past couple months. No excuses, no other circumstances. The choices you have made in the past year or two, here you are. So if you don't see a strong jack man in the mirror, you messed up. This might hurt your feelings, but I don't care. Frankly, that's good for you in the soft world. You want to know how I got so consistent at the gym when like before I was this lazy kid who did nothing with his life? It was when my friends body shamed me. Every single day I'd be called fat. They'd search out fat people on their computer and tell me like they look like me, but it hurt my feelings. Of course it did. But do you think like after a full day of getting called fat, I went to eat that chocolate bar? No. Bro, I like body shaving. If my physique looks like it's slacking, if you see a picture of me where I look like I gained fat and lost muscle, I beg you to call me a fat shit. Because for men, body shaving is so valuable and life-changing. You can't help but respect the guy with the strong, geek, free god type physique. And building a lean, chiseled physique is something you should start as soon as possible and something you should continue to the rest of your life. Now, step three is making money. So maybe you are in a school or career or building a business. Either way, this is the point of your life. No matter which route you are going to take, you will be taken into account how you will make money. At this young age, 100% of your money and mind should be on increasing your income. Don't listen to those people who tell you to save and invest unless you want to get rich in your 60s. The only way to be wealthy is to make more money. Do you think if Mark Zuckerberg got rich by stop buying coffee and investing that into the S&P 500? Hell no. That's why this penny pinching advice is so popular is because it is so appealing to people who aren't currently rich because it's so easy to say like, I'm not rich because I bought a coffee every week. Oh, okay, okay. What people don't want to hear is to increase your income. It's as simple as that. Not easy like that. You one, set a goal and then two, sacrifice so much for that goal Within two years, you can definitely can. Set that goal, no matter if you are in school or in a career or a business, and your brain will automatically think of ways to achieve that goal. Iman Gazi said that 10k per month is amazing to live off of, and not that much changes above it. Now step four is environment and network. So if you followed the previous three steps, like one, you got a strong mind that allows you to like do anything. Two, you got a good physique that brings you the attraction of women and the respect of men. And three, you started making a good amount of money. Most guys are around one or two. But step four is where the fast track begins. It is a network of people you have around you. When you're a young guy, your network is trash. It's either video game nerds or drug addicts from high school, and then you got on self-improvement, and it's a weird stage because you either have to be a loner or hang out with friends who you know are holding you back. Then you actually meet another man who's on self-improvement and has the same mindset as you, and you realize how important it is to have a brother with you because this guy will hold you accountable. If you skip the gym and he goes, you feel like a pussy because he's going and you're just staying home. So network is really important. To be honest, I'm not completely on the stage yet because to truly find a good network, you should move out of your hometown because most likely you won't meet anybody successful there and move to a country with tons of successful people like Dubai. When you've built up that level of success and you're around other people who also have the same amount or even more success than you, you start to feel like a high value man.